this season on Game of Bros. Bring it on, G. Ten celebrity Nisian wannabe warriors. I went out and got a special bra. Fighting for one prize. Heart! There will be winners. Last row, that's all you got, Jimmy, last row. There will be losers. And there will be lots of sexy slow motion running. But only one warrior will win the ultimate prize. A $10,000 donation for a charity of the victor's choosing. Gifted by the friendly followers at iSecurity. Keeping an eye on our community. The sisters are crashing the party on this season of Game of Thrones. Game of Bros. First time I haven't been in an elimination challenge. Stoked. So yeah, that's me and Dave in the elimination challenge. Gonna go hard though, go hard or go home. I'm going all out, 100%. I told Jimmy, don't come near me. Expect elbows, headbutts, and anything's gonna go. Oh, I was like, oh, yo, this is close as. This is a nail-biting finish. Yeah. Dave, you are safe from elimination. Yeah. Just straight win right there, G. Far cheaters, eh? <laughs> then there were four. And now, well, it's uh, dog eat dog. It's every man for himself. Or every wahine for herself. We have even the odds and, yeah, I feel pretty proud, eh? It's worked out perfectly, really, hasn't it? Now we just need one of us to win. <laughs> Still being here is fantastic. And the more I do the competition, the more excited I get about it because you, you do realise that it's, it's so much fun. I think my biggest threat is uh, the wahine. They're both really strong. I don't think I've got too much to worry with, too. He's all talk. You are just one step away from making the final and possibly becoming the Game of Bros celebrity champion. These are the do or die rounds. Heart is pumping, but I'm ready. Yeah, I believe that um, I can beat them on any given day. Miriam, you've been going about your business quietly. <laughs> has this been a tactic from the start? Not consciously. But generally speaking, it's just been about <laughs> surviving. Midiyama, she's tough. Those two are here now, I'm very worried about them. Marketer, if you get through today's Weddle, who do you think might be in the final with you? <laughs> Don't ask me that. <laughs> Gosh, you just, yeah, you just never know. Who, who knows what they're going to throw at us? Marketer, she plays it down, but I mean, she knocked out Carlos. I don't think any of us guys could have done that. OK, Fano, today we have Arangatira uh, and also uh, Kai Whakawa, our resident Bushman and judge that will be joining us today. Ricky Bennett. Oh, when I see old mate walk in, I know it's going to get serious. And I'm thinking we're going to be doing something old school. Kia Ricky. Kia Looking good, Ricky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so are you guys. Nice shoes, Ricky. Yeah, no, it's the, yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. wahine, Ricky, you got to watch out for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us yeah. Tani, you know, we, we yeah, tight. Yeah, we are Mr. Clash, don't we? Yeah, yep, yep. yep. How old am I? Today's Weddle is centred around something that sits at the heart of human survival. Without it, we'd still be in the Dark Ages. Having clean water to drink, a fire to keep us warm, and knowing what plants we can and cannot eat have been core to our people surviving for centuries. So today, you will be fire starting, water fearing, and making us a cup of kawakawa tea. Okay, the challenge today is actually making the fire the way that our Polynesian ancestors did it in the old days. A technique known as hekaahi, which is rubbing the two sticks together. 
And right there, my heart sank because I've seen how hard it is to light fire the proper way. So um, I wasn't looking forward to that. It's been done, so surely, you know, surely we can do it. Straight away, I knew I got this. Because when I was eight years of age, I set my whole beach on fire down on the coast of Taranaki, and I, I've done it. You know, I was a bit of a narcissist. No, that's not the word. Although I am a narcissist, yeah, I, I'm also an arsonist. We're going old school. We're going into fire starter mode. Here's how this challenge works. You'll be divided into two teams of two. First, you must start your fire using the traditional method and the materials that you have been supplied with. Once your fire is going, one of you must tend to your fire, while the other must fetch water to fill your team's billy. When your billy has been filled, you can put it on the fire, and then you must find some kawakawa leaves to make your tea. Your water must reach a rolling boil before you can make your tea and serve it to Ricky. If neither team have started their fire within 20 minutes, you will have the option to search for some white man fire somewhere <laughs> hidden in the bush. The first team to bring a satisfactory cup of tea to Ricky wins. And the winners get a huge advantage going forward. Team Fiddle will be Dave and Miriama. So mark it to me here. You'll be Team Kofi. We've worked together Two before with a team of teams. Two fire starters. <laughs> I'm a fire starter. A twisted fire starter. <laughs> and so you're not fighting blind. Much of Ricky here is going to show you how our Tupano used to do it. Create a little bit of a base. We're going to use a bit of pucker. The first bark goes into this. OK, this is Korari. We're using the shell. The best prepared you are, then the more success you're going to have. So similar to what I did over there, creating a bed for the ember, we've got an angiangi here. They say that the, uh, the stick, kairimaruma, is shaped similar to Mahueka's uh, fingernails. Why, if you don't mind just standing on the end of my board here, please. So what you're trying to do is create a groove. Oh, I'll get you a groove. Look at that Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> you just let it smolder. So now what we want to do is actually transfer it. Crazy. Mm, there it goes. Wow. A little spark. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. So once you've got that, you saw it come into flame then? Yeah. Then transfer it over to your pile, and then you can turn that into a flame. He made it look pretty effortless. I just knew it can't be that easy. Okay, Fano, kia kaha, kia manu anui. Toru, rua, tahi, timata. Tomua, the game of bros. You will be fire starting, water fearing, and making us a cup of kawakawa tea. You must start your fire using the traditional method. Once your fire is going, one of you must tend to your fire, while the other must fetch water to fill your team's billy. And then you must find some kawakawa leaves to make your tea. The first team to bring a satisfactory cup of tea to Ricky wins. Toru, rua, tahi, timata. Good luck, good luck. Why says timata and we start making our base? Our strategy was to take our time and um, try and stick to the steps that he showed us. In a straight line. Keep it a straight line. Two's already come up with the idea that he's going to start this fire by himself, which is typical of two me here, isn't it? I like these guys who try to reinvent the wheel. <laughs> oh, I've done it many times, you know, just to starting fire with wood. I'll take care of that part and, you know, you take care of our strategy and put it all together. She was stoked, you know? She was like, over the moon, oh, cool, OK. The experts showed us that you need two people, but you say you can do it, you go ahead. I'll take us there. I'll get this fire pumping straight away, straight away. Do you want my help? No, no, it's all right. I looked over at Miriama and Dave, and you could see smoke coming up already, and that freaking drove my heart wild. I really want to win this challenge. You really want to get that grease? See that smoke started? Yeah. We just established a nice bed of bark and stuff like that, put the moss in there, and then we started trying to light the fire. <laughs> As I was rubbing the sticks, I thought, hey, it wasn't this hard when I was eight years old. So I finished my little tasks that I've had to do, and I walk over and there's still no fire. 
It was difficult for my pride to realise that I was actually wrong. I've got to learn to listen to the wahine. OK. Yeah, pass the log. So I'm like, come on, too. I've got the log. I'll just put it under and give you some support with my foot. It's not going. It's going. Oh, it's going. It's going. It's going. As soon as she put her foot on the piece of wood, boom, embers, smoke. You know, it was all on. It was hard. It's very disheartening when you see smoke, but nothing's happening. You know, you can't get it to, to spark. So when you're ready, just transfer it over. And then we've got to transfer it. So that's also quite, you know, shaky. I can hear them blowing, and I'm thinking, no way, they can't be blowing smoke just yet. You feel the pain all over your arms. We had to just take turns because it was so taxing. Oh, you got us this. She was going really well. She was getting a lot of smoke as well. You've just got to have the faith that you stick to your strategy of just working hard, continuing to stick at it, and hope that it will take. I don't mean much of a wreck of getting thirsty. Well, it was intense. I was sweating my butt off. So it's like a little baby. I mean, you've got to really look after it. Two's blowing and blowing. <sighs> blowing, blowing, trying to get this thing going. It's just like a relationship, eh? Hey? You gotta let it breathe, eh? Hey? It's getting bigger and bigger, but then it also looks like it's dying, which is like panic mode. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. You know that at any point, theirs can still go out. So there's so many other elements here than just speed. Oh, no, her sweat put it out. My sweat actually dropped off and put out part of the smolder. Sweat. It was like slow motion, watching his sweat drop right onto the fire. That's when marketed, like, holy crap, ripped off her lava lava in perfect style, hair blowing in the wind, and, you know, just wiped off my sweat. Um, which was lovely. <laughs> I don't think she would appreciate wearing that for the rest of the day, but I'm very thankful, because, yeah, that saved us, eh? Yeah, so we've got it going pretty good. We're ready for the big transfer into the big fire pit. I managed to get it some smoke going. Dave managed to get some smoke going. You know, it was just so right there. Shot, Dave. We just couldn't get it to catch. Man, it was frustrating. So not only have Team Corfi transferred their smoke to their shell, they've now transferred it to the pit. Now I'm tunny far crawling all over the fire, just blowing on it, trying to get this thing going. There's no way in hell I'm going to do that far out. He said he would lose his eyebrows to win the challenge, so I'm like, let's go, too. You got it. Come on, come on. Hey! And we finally got it going. I was over the moon. I can actually hear all the debris burning and cracking, and we're still going hard, getting frustrated. How can you miss it when two mehers yelling uh, that they got it, you know? So um, you definitely don't miss anything with him around. Team Fiddle, if you do not start your fire within five minutes, you will have the option to look for a lighter. We'll give her some space, because that's what wahine are like. I look over, they're still struggling to get that first step. Well, my fire's a wahine because uh, she's hot. <laughs> so I sort of chilled out a little bit and rested on my laurels, which was probably a real big mistake, eh? Team Core Fire have established their fire. It's been five minutes since. So somewhere between these two flags behind you is your lighter. Hell, you fellas. You gotta go and use the Pākehā lighter, eh? Hell, <laughs> you bloody tinihanga. That's what you fellas are. Roaring fire, just like that. Magic. I'm looking over at Whero, and they're friggin' right up our behinds. So we got the billy uh, filled up pretty quick. Got to get the car. It's about 10 there. We got the pot up, and it was just really about understanding how to maintain the heat. How, how boiling does it have to be? Rolling boil, boil bro. Yeah. The tip of their flame was hitting the bottom of their billy just perfectly, so I thought, damn, we've got to change this market. You're an idiot, eh? Two's like, I've got a great idea. Tried to get the stick in and move the pot, which I thought was a terrible idea. Eddie. Oh, my God, I can't watch. She says no, and I remembered back to the uh, beginning of the challenge where I failed trying to do it on my own, and I thought, yeah, market. Wahine, 
You're always right. <laughs> Don't do that again, OK? OK. Bro, can we get a cover on the pot? At that point, Kofi didn't have a lid on their pot. Up way, we're getting there. I see bubbles, I see bubbles, I see bubbles. Cover the pot, cover the pot, the cover the pot. Maybe I shouldn't have been so noisy about shouting out, put a lid on it, put a lid on it. Is it boil? Why? almost there, bro. This is boiling, surely. This is boiling. He looks over. Carl, Carl. Burn, fire, burn. Our fire team, Fiddle. You're not too far behind. At this point in the game, you've got nothing to lose. I'm a bit worried, and I'm actually nervous. It's going to come close. Even though we got the head start, they could still beat us, you know? Your game of bros. Remember, the winning team gets a big advantage going forward. Up way, we're getting there. I see bubbles, I see bubbles. Is that a wrong boil? You're Why? almost there, bro. <laughs> this is boiling, surely, this is boiling. He looks over. Oh. Team Fiddle, you're not too far behind. They could still beat us, you know? It was neck and neck. It was a nervous wait, because our fire, once we got it going, it was roaring. I noticed the harder I blew, the boils started to pop up. You know, the bubbles started to pop up, so I was like... <laughs> <laughs> hey! Let's go! Hey. Team Kofi! Hey. Congratulations! Oh, that's really bullying now. Hey. <laughs> you are the winner of this challenge. <laughs> it feels very good. Amazing. So I'm over the moon with myself and Mark Eddie, and I think we're an awesome team. Me kapuchi tato. Yes. Okay, here I'm up here, get there. Here you go, Ricky. Enjoy your cup of tea. Man, that tastes just like cold cup of tea. Yeah, get out of my head. Hey, tastes just like cold cup of tea. They should have won because they started the fire, you know, the proper way. We had to use a lighter, so it would, I don't think it would have been fair if we ended up winning. Hard to know what lies ahead at this point. I think why I said that whoever wins the challenge has a better advantage going into the next challenge. Gosh, I know that me and Tumi have an advantage, but how much of an advantage? And you know, like we might be terrible at the next one and the other team will catch us. So uh, we got some ground to make up, but you know, anything's possible. Oh, it's just like, just hurry up and tell us. <laughs> Marketing, Tumi. Well done on, uh, on getting your fire lit. Market, was it easier than you may have expected? Uh, no, it was quite hard, actually, and you have to have good patience. I know how to survive in the bush now. <laughs> I think Dave and I are equally as deflated as each other, just because no one likes losing. I mean, we're not the last four because we like losing. Dave, Miriamma, difficult, uh, difficult task. Dave, what do you think went wrong? Oh, I don't want to make any excuses. Like, our wood might have been a bit more wet than theirs, but... Uh, <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> our, uh, <laughs> uh, big ups to them. It was, it, was, it was tough, you know. We did it, we did our best, and that's all anyone can ask for. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so why hasn't announced what's happening yet? But I'm thinking it's still another team challenge. Uh, we'll be penalised in time, and then from there we'll go to an elimination challenge. I'm so nervous. I, like, I don't know what to expect. Well, tea time is over. I said to you that first weddle, uh, it is the core to survival. So your advantage, Team Core Fight, is that you guys will go straight through to the final. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Why <laughs> you fellas? So you have survived today and you will not be eliminated. Oh. <laughs> you buggers. Oh, man. Oh, you buggers. I was nervous. Ass. So, Wai oh, has no, revealed no. that me and Tumi here are going through to the grand final, which is like a relief. Oh, <laughs> oh, stoked. Super stoked. I can't believe it. I made it to the final day. Awesome, though. You deserve it. Yeah, no, you deserve it. I kind of know that that means Dave and I are going head to head, and he is a fierce competitor. Miriam? Yep. Dave? Therefore, this is an elimination challenge for Real. one of you. OK, kapai. I might be able to take this, you know, I might be able to get through. I'll die trying, you know, that's all anyone can ask for. Well, as you can see, we're in the well, we're in the bush. OK, and, and unfortunately, there is a lot of pests in our bush at the moment. And to protect our native rako, OK, 
Okay, we have to eradicate those pests. So in this elimination challenge, we are going possum hunting. You each will have a slingshot. You also have five targets to hit. Whichever of you hit those five targets in the least amount of time will win. If we end up with a tied situation after five minutes, it'll be a shootout. Golden point, if you wish. So the winner will be safe and moving on to the grand final. And the loser will be leaving us today. Pretty excited because it's the one thing that I might be good at. You know, I can't run, can't swim, can't row a canoe. But um, I'm not too bad at um, aiming stuff and hitting it. No, I've never used a slingshot before, ever. Yeah, I'm not feeling that confident. Ready, Dave? Yep. Let's shoot some pests. Toru, Rua, Tahi, Karafiwa. Let's go, Davey. Good luck, Dave. Let's go, Butterbang. I just try to take my time. Getting nervous just holding the thing. Your heart rate's pumping, and you know, trying to get those rocks in that little pouch, and your hand's shaking. Line them up. And you're just trying to just stay calm and focus on the process. Oh! oh. Nice, Butterbang. That feeling is uh, amazing. That, that bang. It was a good way to start and uh, made me a bit more confident. So I am feeling very nervous. Oh, he's taking his time. I'm thinking, Dave, you better speed up, bro, if you want to be in the finals. That's a hit. He is off to a really good start. You can tell by the look on his face, the stance he's got. He's done this before and he knows what he's doing. Been. Three down. I was just in the zone. I was just thinking, just, just do the same process, you know, just take your time, get it right. That's four. You have one by Hamu to hit. Two minutes left on the clock. Oh. 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 He seems to be aiming just over top or just to the side. Come on. He's got a strong will and a strong mind, and he knows how to calm himself. So I was still feeling pretty shaky. All you can do is go hard, you know, and leave nothing in the tank. Yes, hit. That's a hit. Yeah! Shot might have been. I still realised that Midiama was still there to go. I didn't want to, you know, have egg on my face by celebrating too much and then lose. So, um, yeah, I sort of played it cool, but inside I was pumped. Dave, that's five possums. Two minutes and 50 seconds. How about bro? Kapoi, no excuses. I can see Miriam's face, and she looks very nervous, actually. I haven't seen this look on her face the whole competition. Gets a time of, like, 2 minutes 50, which is OK, but I think Midi is going to outdo him on this one. OK, Miriam, you know the time you have to beat. Toru, Rua, Tahi, Karafiwa. And she grabbed two stones, one in her mouth, one in her hand. I was going, whoa, I think I could lose. She's got this crazy stance and she's looking strong. It's over, Mitty's got this. You know, because she stands up, she looks like a Xena warrior princess. Oi! <laughs> oh, she's on. One from one. Hits the first one within like 10 seconds, and I'm thinking, oh, it's over, but I've been. Nailed the first one. Once she's got her game face on, man, it's intimidating, you know, and she's not there to muck around. Yes, yes, that's, that's a, a good one. That's a good one. Three to go. She hit it well, you know, it was a nice hard hit. I thought it, it's gonna come close. I felt good at first, you know, I kind of had the first one. <sighs> Final four, you know, we're all friends, been here a while now together. I was cheering her on, but also cheering when she'd missed her. <laughs> oh yeah, this is hard. Something's gone on. I, I don't know what's happened, but just hoping that she sort of gets her head around it. Nah. The thing that was really catching me was I was finding it hard to have the strength in my fingers, the dexterity to hold on to the rock. You know, I was kind of hoping that she, those troubles would continue. <laughs> yep. Nah. Whoa. There's a stick. I started to become more aware that time was ticking. A couple of minutes go past and I'm like, oh no, she's lost her confidence. I was shaking, yeah, I was definitely shaking. I could see the slingshot shaking. <sighs> Miyama, that's time. I hadn't done enough to get me through to the final. 
Dave got all five targets in two minutes and 50 seconds. He did. And you couldn't beat that time. No, Cole. So your journey on the Game of Bros ends here. Oh, yeah. I was a bit sad because I've enjoyed the competition. I've loved all the challenges, but I was also really stoked for Dave. I'm pumped. I'm a finalist. No matter what happens, you know, I am for the rest of my life a Game of Bros finalist. I would do it in a heartbeat again. We made connections that were kind of lifelong friendships, but, you know, I, I learned about David's amazing story and I learned about Jimmy's background, and it's just so humbling. The finals between myself, Markety and Butterbean. Oh, it's going to be a good one. I'm really looking forward to it. Makere, too much sis. It's going to be like the Melbourne Cup, but my money's on the filly. Aotearoa Wiki, Irunga, the Game of Bros. Made it to the grand final, and uh, to be honest, I'm pumped. You know, I've made it this far, so you know, I, I rate myself. I've got two fierce competitors. I'm actually not too worried about that. You know, I'm sick of listening to two me here talk. I just want to beat two me here. He talks too much. Two me here is really getting on my nerves. Feeling cool as a cucumber. Team up. Don't want to lose to two me here because we won't hear the end of it. So winning is key. Ah, count on my. Shut up, two. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.